So this is the Bookaholics Anonymous tag. I found this on Birthdays and Books, um, link to his channel down below, and also the link to where he found the tag. This is a book tag with many questions. <laughs> the first question is, what do you like about buying a new book? And I would say just the experience. Um, I really like going to a shop because that's I mean there's just really nothing like wandering around bookshelves for an hour or so um, and then going to get like a nice drink and relaxing um, there's just a vibe to it you know but also, um, online I tend to like going through an entire store's catalogue, picking out anything I think sounds interesting and then kind of <laughs> spend an hour whittling it down to both the titles that I want and whatever is within my budget. Um, for instance, like Words and Kisses, one of my favourite stores, has like if you spend £40 you'll get free shipping. So I tend to to go when I have like a spare £40 to, to spend um, and then it's like both how much can I get, how many books can I get for that for as close to £40 as I can get, but also my favourites. <laughs> the second question is how often do you buy new books? Um, I'm kind of on a new kind of book buying restriction, uh, which is one physical book a month in terms of like buying, unless you count like subscription services, um, in which case I also get fairy loot books. Um, and I got like a Words and Kisses subscription for my birthday, so I, they're not technically buying because I didn't spend money on them, um, but ebooks I'll probably, I'll probably pick up three-ish a month, three, four, uh, for like book groups and stuff. The third question is bookstore or online shopping, which do you prefer? <laughs> There's really nothing like going to a bookstore and just having that day out. But, um, I'm gonna have to pick online book shopping for now, um, which I actually do a lot less, but online book shopping because I don't know if you can tell <laughs> I am stuck in my bed these days, so. The fifth question is, do you pre-order books? And I do. Um, I'm currently waiting on the publication of Babel by R.F. Kwan, but a lot less than I used to. Um, Pre-ordering now is just, um, do I have enough money um, in my rewards card <laughs> in order to afford it? The sixth question is, do you have a monthly book buying limit? And I'm gonna kind of say no, despite everything I've been saying, because it was supposed to just be <laughs> one book a month, and then I was like, oh no, I have book groups. Um, and so it's always more than one a month. Um, so the answer is yes, but I ignore it 
Question seven is big brain bands. I'll do something for you. Um, no. As you could probably tell from the one book to one physical book, I am always trying to like worm my way into more. But I can, as long as it's not more than a month, I can probably stick to it. Question eight is how big is your wish list? Okay, so I don't actually use my Amazon wish list, um, but because that's kind of easiest, a hundred and thirteen, I think. Book. <laughs> Question nine is three books from your wish list that you wish to own now. I'm gonna say. I think I might love you, which I think is the first book in the Love Sisters series by Christina C. Jones. I heard Bookish Realm talk about it and I think it sounds great. Um, Gift of Spring by Shira Glassman. Again, I think this is kind of like fantasy romance-ish. I have, I've got a lot of like Shira Glassman works. Um, and like my to be read um, but this is the one that's on my Amazon one and lastly A Shadowy Rise book one of Southern of the Three Realms by Lee Kian and translated by Mel Lee from Wuxia World uh, because I really want to read more like Xianxia but also the art for this was done by um, Xiao Chuanfen, um, who does one of my does my favorite webtoons, which is horror Xianxia. And yeah, that is the Bookaholics Anonymous tag. Thanks for watching. Bye.